I can't keep doing this, Graham. I'm not as young as I was a year ago. Well, you're in luck. It's the 30th today, so as is tradition, you may call for the New Year's Steve lottery. Sweet! I'm gonna go gather everyone some stones. Or, or, or we could draw straws. I am not looking forward to this. The last time my parents let me be New Year's Steve, I couldn't cry for the whole year. I still can't. Everyone here? Great. Yeah. Draw! Oh no! I'm free! Why? At long last! Where is everyone parked? Well, New Year's Steve, got any good cheer for us? It's gonna be a good year. Should old facial hair be shown off and swept away with pride? Should beard and mustache be shown off when the beard and blades collide? For bearded men and smooth-faced boys, no face shall be denied. The clippers come for all my friends, not a hair they will abide. Now here's a hand of trusted friends, and here's a hand not mine. They'll take the hairs from off my face, and a bearded Paul retires. For bearded men and smooth-faced boys, no face shall be denied. The clippers come for all my friends, not a hair they will abide. Should old facial hair be shorn off, and shaving balm applied. It's live, so something's going to happen on loading Ready Live. From near and far, young and old, people of every shape, ability, and gender, welcome to Loading Ready Live. Today on the show, it's almost time for a new semester, so let's quickly review our favorite slides in PowerPoint Karaoke. The stakes are high, it's a stressful situation, and our specialists need to stay cool in Keep Talking and Nobody Legos. There's lots of stuff in the world, and it could be one thing or another thing. Let's play This or That. Impress your friends and astound your families with our cutting-edge gastronomical delights debuting today in Will It Aioli? Hurry up, get in here, the ball's about to drop on Loading Ready Live, starting right now. You can see uh, Dan is here. I'm very excited. We got a lot of improv fun. A couple of us build some Lego later on. Uh, hopefully Paul is okay. I don't know. We will find out later, I'm sure. Uh, but I thought we would take this second uh, to talk about our Christmas. Is Cameron is here with me. Cameron, how was your Christmas? What did you get up to? It was very good. I traveled up island to uh -huh. spend Christmas with my with my family. That's nice. So yeah, I, I, I spent it with my mom and dad and with Juliana. Very nice. Ooh. I went up to the uh, cold Arctic north of British Columbia, oh. a little town called Powell River. Oh. Uh, now, if you look at a map, geographically, yes, it is north of Victoria. It's not actually that cold or mm. mo mm -hmm. more, more that north, but it, 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 was, it was cold and it snowed. Right. Did right. it snow well, I mean, where like, you? Did you have a white Christmas? Yeah, it snowed just a little bit, and we were very lucky to avoid getting, you know, just blown away in the gales of liquid helium just falling down out of the exosphere. That's nice. Right? It got down to just about freezing. I only ran into six or seven Yetis which was quite nice. Ooh. They exist, they're real, and they live in Powell River. Yeah, well, I, I guess it's not so bad once they like get rid of all the push the Sasquatches exactly. out of their ecosystem. Yeah, it's not bad. What'd you get for Christmas? Uh, books. Books. Lots of books. I, got I a, love getting books. I got a Google Home. So really? So presumably, uh, 
they're listening right now. Oh, okay. What do you say? What, what's the, what's 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 Google Home's preferred name? Uh, yo Google. Yo. Sup, sup Google. I honestly think you could probably say anything Google, right. and it will listen. What Is about, that like what, that? What about the Googe? The Googe? I don't think that would work. Um, yo Googe. Funny enough, uh, Graham's nickname in high school. Mm. That's not true. No, that's, no, no. that's not true. It could be though. <laughs> Let's start calling him the Googe. What? Okay. There was that one poster that was like, I Frankenstein, uh -huh. right? Or that one monster movie that was I Frankenstein. And I think it was in Spanish. It translated to Yo Frankenstein. That's a, that's a good show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So as we are getting ready, I uh, just want to quickly say uh, thank you for another really fantastic year. Um, a lot of really cool stuff happened here at Loading Ready Run. We moved into this brand new, beautiful mm -hmm. office. And, and uh, so much thanks to you guys. Uh, so thank you so much for your support over the year. Uh, of course... Uh, if you sub or resub or gift a sub or give bits or do whatever it is you do, uh, we will get to you all at the end of the show. Um, I also take this moment to uh, greedily uh, try to achieve my goal of reaching 4,500 members of the Loading Ready Run Discord. Mm. So uh, discord.gg slash LRR. You can join the Loading Ready Run Discord. We're like less than like 80 members away mm. from reaching my goal. And it is the 30th. So we only have like 36 more hours to go. Not even. It's like 30 hours, so get in there, um, join the Discord. It's a really great community, and I think you would really like it. Yeah, um, the, the 4,500 person could be you. You don't get anything, but it could be you. I mean, we, we get something, which is 4,500 people in our Discord. That's fair. I think we win. Discord? Yeah. I don't think so, but okay. it's nice do, to do think Do we that. unlock S, S, S mode? <laughs> S mode. <laughs> Discord hard. Or is that just A ranking? Ooh, I don't know. Mm. That's, well, only one way to find out. Join the Discord. So. How are we doing? We're ready. It looks like we're ready for our first segment. Um, so let's head over to the friend zone and take a look at what we got set up for you. Mm. Hello, I'm Dr. Una Frumpelstein, and here is my colleague. Yes, I am Dr. Skyler Ringtail. Yes, and we are here to give a presentation nope. on music and technology. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh. Music, many people don't know that music has been around a long time, Kathleen. Millions of years. Yes, before even technology. That's right. Dinosaurs flying through the sky, screeching beautiful tunes. Oh, dropping the hottest prehistoric beats. That's right. And also other potatoes. Yes, but we are here to talk about the intersection of science and technology. And music. Yes. Three interstices. Give me one more. Good job. Yeah. Okay. A digital audio is a technology that can be used for sound recording and reproduction. That's right. But That's... not these kind of reproduction. No, this is not something that music needs at all. Oh, but this and sometimes music can make these kind of reproduction go ah, and come on smoothly. I see what you are talking we about. We have a lot of fun here yes, in the Department of Music to Technology at the University of Copenhagen. Please <laughs> apply. All right, coming up next, it's, it, there was a significant advance in technology in the 1970s. Yes. That's when the Christopher Walken accent was invented. That's very true. And that was a, well, when it replaced analog technology, the technology literally of the dinosaurs. Yes, that's right. R.I.P. dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. uh, you take this one next, well, thank you. Skylar. So what happens is we have to talk about the very first MP3 player, which was in fact invented by Leonardo da Vinci back in the Renaissance. Yes, and his plans did not work at all. Yes, it stood for Medici Plan 3, which was the Medici's third plan to take over all of Florence with the power of music. But unfortunately, technology was not yet in the digital age, so they could not realize the MP3 player. No, but in the finally, in the summer of 1998, MP3 oh. players hit the shelves and they are crap! Yes. They're garbage! Rechargeable battery packs lasting only nine hours. How are you supposed to reproduce with that? No, it was not a good idea, but that's Stick. okay. No. Uh, next, content sharing! Yes. That's there are many, many methods of content sharing. I mean, you can start with distributed systems like Morpheus or Sherza or Neo or any other type of uh, character from the Matrix that you would They are like music. Yes, of course, there's the one that we're all familiar with, Grokster, oh, of course, Grokster. Yes, exactly, the final dinosaur, the Grokster. Yes, Grokstosaurus. Yes, Grokstosaurus Rex, and it made a terrible noise. You could hear it say, Kazaa! 
And that's how you know music was in the area yes. back before the digital times. That's right, that's right. And of course, we all use this to get our bootleg anime soundtracks Ooh. because it was the 1990s. Oh my God, I remember the 90s anime when sad Ronald Reagan's Steady Roosevelt was just the top of the charts. <sighs> Good, Good times. times. <laughs> <laughs> but now... Now we wonder what Napster was, because we all had a collective hallucination. Ah, of course, Napster, as we know, was some sort of dinosaur. Here we have a scientific recreation of what we think the Napster looked like. Well, this is exactly what was going to happen. The, the, the Medicis were finally able to take their plan to fruition in the 2000s. They would go from Napster user A, saying to Napster user B, hey, do you want to burn down Florence? And then they did. Yeah. There's fire. They used the Napstersaurus, the Napstersaur. Yeah, with its kazaar! To, to really ignite the flames. Yes, but finally, we need to talk about what the future of digital technology is, and that is the Napster search. Where is the Napster? It just, it went away. Well, they say it is extinct, but we think it may be hiding out in a cave somewhere. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it is assisting on small scraps of of sustenance, you yeah, know, yeah, a, yeah. a small Tay Tay track here. Yeah, uh, yeah, an old 8 eight track radio player, or 8 track tape player oh. that fell out of the, 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 the dashboard of a 1982 Datsun sedan, that oh, kind of that stuff. That was a good car, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. solid, solid. But uh, so we're putting together a group of grad students to go on the Napster search. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some caves lined up outside of Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested in joining the excursion, please apply, only, University of Copenhagen. Only Very the best funky. and safest caves. Only the most exciting. Yes. Uh, safest now, is a strong word. For yeah. this search, we're going to need funding. And That's for it. funding, we're going to need the, the uh, architecture is the <laughs> first and second P2P, which is payment to pay our grad students. That's right. As you can see, we have a satanic circle we have set up here. Yes. This is a very advanced series of pentagrams. Yes. Well, what's going to happen is if you, once you start the pentagrammal circle, you get more computers, and then you are able to summon an old computer. Yes, a very old computer owned by one of the original Medici's, yes. who, as we know, were rich as shit. Yes, the important thing, though, is that once that computer appears, you must all, all of you children, take out your blue laser pointers and point them at the computer. That will make it grow stronger. And that's when the money comes out for grad student search. Right out of that CD drive, like it's making it rain. Yes, all right. So, discussion points. Yes. Do How? we want to give the world over to demonic energy? No. Do, was there technology before music? No. no. Are the Medici trapped inside of these tiny plastic boxes and want to take us over? Yes. yes. But first... We must discuss the zoo. I mean, no, no discussion of MP3s can take place without say, having a very serious discussion about the zoo. It was the iPod killer. And for that reason, we need to, to create a new type of science to hunt down this type of killer. We needed to get inside the mind of the Zoon. No one had ever thought about examining scientifically the mind of a Zoon. And why would it go out and try to kill iPods and iPods only? Such... Some sort of ancient blood feud, perhaps fu perhaps fueled by this Medici Gemin connection. More mm. investigation is required. Yes. We will need at least 200 to 250 uh, million dollars yes. for that. The point is I want the brown one. It was the only thing that came in the brown. So Come in conclusion, you can now sit in the comfort of your home without the fear of dinosaurs and without the fear of interfering Medici's burning your house down and you too can have Tay-Tay right into your headpiece. Ah, well, thank you very much for joining us. I do want to say please come to the University of Copenhagen, study all these sexy things, the dinosaurs, the exciting bits. Thank you very much. I am Una Fartsnorfer, your Skylaring Tale. That is correct. Thank you that is what much. I said. Yes. Okay. Thank you On so much. Our next presentation. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How you doing out there? Yeah, we're having a great time. We hope you're having a great time, everybody too. Everybody in the audience, say yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. it's another one of those ghost audiences. I know, right? Well, we're going to raise you from the dead. I'm Brett. I'm Chet. No, wait, I'm Chet. But I'm Brett. And we can be whoever you want to be because we are ready to make your mind get blown. Oh, okay, it's solar, solar energy. energy. That's right. Solar energy is the wave of the future. And that's all you need is the future. And you need solar energy to get there. Absolutely. Let's walk them through exactly what's going on here. Take a seat, Chet. What is solar energy? Well, that's the sun putting out energy, and we feel it every day. Every day, when you're in the car. Yeah, when you're in your house. When you're in the shower. When you're underground, you don't feel, feel it. it. Mm -mm. No, no. No, no, but you gotta be above the ground where the sun is, because the sun's all around us all day long. Sometimes you see the sun coming down in a parachute right here. That's right, and it lands on the ground, and it gets sucked up by these solar panels. And soon it grows into a big electrical tree. Big electrical that tree that radiates the sun. Look at that sun. That's right, Brett or Chet. That's right, Chet or Brett. W so was the solar deity an ancient Roman. That's a long time ago, but they had solar energy then too. And let me tell you about something those gods knew how to fuck. Yep, they had two different consecutive sun gods they was fucking all the time. That's what they do. That's right, that's if what they did. If there's one thing I learned in fourth grade elementary school, it's, it's that gods, gods can't be stop fucking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta work on that one. I know, Next right? Time. Sorry, yeah, when we're in Sydney, Sydney we'll you, do that you one. You listen right. to me, okay. All right, yeah. here's a diagram. Right. Here's the sun. It's kind of a buzzsaw. Now, remember when we said the sun likes to fuck, so we got all these little spermies coming Look at down. Little spermy spermies! Right, right, and they enter the ground. That's right, they get into the ground there, they go through the grass, they go through the yellow layer of dirt that we all have under the grass. Right, and then they turn into batteries. That's as you right. can see right here, there's a plus, there's a minus. And when they and when the pluses and the minus get close together, they like to they like to make char. Right, right, right. For all you nerd types out there, that's called N-type silicon layer. layer. That's right. Underneath we have a P-type silicone layer as well because we like to splurge and give you the very best. Exactly. It's covered in water because water is always blue in diagrams. Absolutely. There's nothing else that could be blue. Then it goes out of here. Mm -hmm. We got an electric current flow. This is what's hip with the kids, the current flow. That's, That's right. That's what we call it right here. We're with the current flow. You can tell from the way we're dressed. Yeah, he's wearing the Plants vs. Zombies sunglasses. Absolutely. I and love the coolest... mobile game. Yeah, that's the coolest game out there for kids. And then finally, when they finally procreate, you get an electrical bulb. That's right. And you have electrical bulbs everywhere, everywhere in your house. But what happens when you're not safe with solar energy? No, no. Solar energy can kill you. Yep. Right there. Dead. All See? these X's, that's how many times he's died. His KDR is shit. Mm hmm. Absolutely. These big purple shoes, they ain't so cool anymore. When he, you're dead, yeah, he's dying so much, even the ground is dying. Yeah, Mother Earth is real sad. And real you, sad. Yeah, and you know that this is a hell of a thing when you've got the live wire going. That's a Motley Crue song. Is it? Yeah. I'd never listened to Motley Crue. What are you listening to these days, Brett? I listen to mostly Iron Maiden. That's really nice, Chet. Yeah, yeah. I thought so too, Brett. Yeah, thanks, Chet. Uh, coming up next. Whoa, no, hold on, hold on. No, we gotta talk about photosynthesis. We gotta talk about photosynthesis. That's right, because plants are solar batteries that you can eat. Yes, yes. If you are feeling a little bit, you know, sag, uh, saggy, that's... Yeah, you know, like saggy. That's what kids call tired these like days. Like saggy. You're feeling a little saggy. You can just go outside, grab some grass, shove that right up in your grill. Yeah, I like to grab a tree branch and just eat the leaves. Yeah, yeah, I saw him doing that the other day, then he ran a quarter mile. That's right. I'm the fastest there is. Absolutely. So, as you can see, the sun doing its thing, getting getting those uh, those waves or in those the little... little, those, little it's fucking the plant. Little, yeah, yeah, it's gets into the little plant batteries. We yeah. call those chlorophyll. Yeah, and then... Uh, Making, making water. Yeah. Did you know the sun makes water? That's how we make water, is the sun enters a plant and the plant makes water. And that's that's why how you drink. Yeah, and that's why fire type is weak to water. Mm -hmm. Pokemon. Uh, moving up next, we got the layers of the sun. Yeah. All you need to know is that it's got plants in it because it's green. That's right. And it's also half oranges. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are if you're low on vitamin C, just go to the sun. sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fly now, to what the doesn't sun. the sun do, Chet? The sun basically keeps all of us alive, and if it wasn't for it, we'd be screwed. But like, there's one seriously. Part, yes, absolutely. And there's one part you really got to know about the rad zone. Yeah. That's where we are frequently hanging mm -hmm, out in. Mm -hmm. I had to go through the convection zone to get there, but we are just always in the rad zone. But you know what's so great about after you go through the convection zone? What's that? Because then you go into the photosphere, and they're always taking pictures of you. He's Right? Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. looking right. good. Mm -hmm. And then we drink some Coronas! Yeah. <laughs> Getting lit. Yeah, and just feel that cool solar wind blowing through our hands. Cool. That just whoosh. Who doesn't want to hang out in yeah. the sun? Yeah. Uh, somehow, oh, Da Vinci got into our fucking oh, no. Photoshop again. <laughs> we gotta again. leave him out of the... God, he's got a time budget. And everything, we've been taking the... We've been trying to take money out of his time budget. Yeah, anyways. Don't, okay. Don't let Da Vinci anything. So, 
the Earth, Sun, the Earth, Wind, and Sun. This was my favorite band from yeah, the 80s. Sun, you know. Earth, and Moon System. Yeah, they wrote that song in September. Yeah. It's, uh, so the Sun, Earth, and Moon System, those are all the planets in our solar system. Absolutely. And uh, what you have to understand is that all of them rotate. Yeah. And because they rotate, we all experience the Coriolis effect. And that's when... Uh, that's when like everything turns into circles. Right, absolutely. And when everything circles, kind of like the moon, mm -hmm. it starts fucking with the tides. Yeah. And as the water rolls in and out out of those plants, yeah. then we get to drink that water. Yeah, and then you have a revolution and get to party with the four seasons. All right. Yeah. So, hold on, let's take that again. Chet. Brett. All right, all right, let's move it on. Anyways, that's the end. Yeah. That's how you I'm get glad we solar. moved on to the end. Anyways, I've been Brett. I've been Chet. And I've been Chet. And I've been Brett. And it's time for us to sign off. Peace! You started, yeah. Hi! Hello! Thanks so much for coming to Panel Room 4. What are we doing here today, Graham? We're here at the historic Doubletree at an exposition for this to share with you our amazing new product. Fish. <laughs> fish. What? What's, what's fish all about, Graham? I'm so glad you asked, Devin. What do they eat? Where do they live? But is it a fish? <laughs> How do they breathe, Graham? And when do they sleep? All of these questions and more to come will be answered. Yeah. Fish were invented <laughs> in the Latin times. Francis Wagogobobi was one of the first persons to invent the fish. I'd like to con I'd like to further also compliment you on this Lovingly readable PowerPoint with its kicky blue on blue color theme. Thanks, Graham. No problem, Devin. Um, the Newton's Newton's philosophy I naturalize principum mathematicus, otherwise known as mathematicisical principitals of natural philosophy, has lots of good information about fish. Moving on. What's the lesson, Graham? The lesson is, what's the difference between vertebrates and invertebrates? Graham, wouldn't that have something to do with the, the word in? Correct! Fish are so in right now. To what group of animals do the following belong? Frog, cobra, salamander, crocodile. Which of these are fish? Is it all of them? Correct! I'm glad you've been paying attention. Thanks, Graham. Let's look at some fish bodies. This is a very scientific diagram of fish. Yeah, as we see here, this picture of Albert Brooks and Ellen DeGeneres, the eye, spines, and lateral line are shared between them. But what about the pelvic fin nostril? <laughs> the pelvic fin nostril is my favorite part of the fish. It's I'm, that one. That's my favorite fin. Yeah. Yeah. Here's more information about those parts. The operculum covers and protects the gills and lets water escape from them. You don't want to have gills without an operculum. No, you do not. They also have turning movements. That's an interesting part of the fish body. <laughs> yes. The turning movement. You have to make sure to wind your turning movement every couple of years. Otherwise, you stop moving, and as we know about sharks, that makes them very uncomfortable. A shark's turning movement is made of quartz. <laughs> oh! That was a great impression of the fish, Graham. Thanks. I'm very glad that you nailed that in practice. More legible text here, Devin. Love it. Fish is a perishable commodity that nobody cares about, apparently. Let's talk about glycolocalus. Now we've made it to page one. <laughs> What is glycolysis? Well, you see the first, uh, uh, lactic acid. Oh! What happens after death? <laughs> well, you see... <laughs> lactic acid! Oh! And finally, in PM period... I get sleepy. Lactic also acid. Also lactic acid. <laughs> Fish come in different flavors. Like strawberry. And blue raspberry. And cherry. And milk. And lactic acid. <laughs> yeah. 
Here's a shark. Here's an octopus. And the he, shark has a fin. Has a fin. The octopus does not. Fish! Fish! Nice, Graham. Nailed it. And now a feet up extra push. A UK man's Christmas card has achieved minor viral fame online after it appears his uncle wished him a happy holidays and hoped that he didn't wank too hard in the new year. You want to wank softer this year with your palm full of lanolin. What? No! It makes the rubbing go all smooth like. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what I expected when I chose this story, but for some foolish reason it wasn't this. Wanking is English for masturbation. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. I kind of want to die. It is so nice to spend the holidays with people whose company you enjoy. It's better with friends. <laughs> on camera hey, hey welcome back to uh loading ready live uh we have a great video coming up next keep talking well eep talking and, and nobody, nobody legos. legos uh we did this a, a few months ago back in the old moon base and thought hey you know what people get lego for christmas that's not actually the thought process at all, was it? We just no, wanted no. to build Lego. Yeah, again. yeah, so, we, were, we were kind of desperate for an excuse. Yeah, exactly. So mm. uh, coming up next is myself and Cameron mm. building some Lego. Enjoy. Hello, and welcome to the second edition of Keep Talking and Nobody Legos. Now, we've done this once before here on the show, and we built this plane. Well, we tried to. Most of this was built after the fact. It didn't actually go very well, but that's fine. We're going to do better today because I'm building. Yes, me. And Cameron over here will be instructing me. The rules are quite simple. I, in front of me, have a bowl of Lego. Dear God. Cameron has the instructions. I cannot see Cameron. Cameron is, his one job is to tell me what to do. And I only may respond with complete or tell me that again because he probably will need to. Um, a small little addition to this episode, though. Uh, we have the base set, which I will be building from, but Cameron has also bought a smaller set and included that in this pile, which means there are probably about 50 or 60 pieces, would be my guess. I don't know. I haven't seen what these sets are that I will not need or need or use. I am, I am terrified. I see bows and and hair brushes and the propeller. I have a hard time believing those go together, but who knows? Let's find out. All right, James, I'm going to need you to find a four by 12 thin black sheet. Got it. All right, to that, I need, next up, I need you to find a two by two beige smooth faced piece. Got it. A one by two yellow thin piece. A bright yellow? Bright yellow. I guess I can't ask that, can I? Never mind. Got it. A one by four thin red piece. Thin red, got it. And two uh, one pip green circles. Two one pip green circles, got it. All right. And got, wait, and got it. To one edge of the four by 12 black piece. Yes. I want you to border it with the one by four red piece. Got Just it. Just put it right at the end. Got it. At the two and three positions of that red piece next on the next row of the black piece yes put two the two green pips so that they are in the middle good got it next to those green pieces put the one by two yellow piece got it so it is on the third row got it on the fourth and fifth row in the center put the two by two beige piece got it i need you to find two one by eight yellow pieces got it got it Ooh, i found a dog bone Ooh. do we need to, do, uh, i got the dog bone just so you know okay excellent i also need you to find a one one by two thin yellow piece one one by two thin got it okay so the two one by eight pieces yes i want you to put those along the perimeter of the four by twelve black piece uh-huh so that you're forming kind of like a U shape with the red piece at the bottom. Got it. Okay. Now I want you to complete. 
make a essentially a square or a rectangle, closing it with the one by two yellow piece. Got it. So there should be a three by four empty black space at the far end. Y yes. Yes, okay. Confirmed. Good. Next up, I need you to find two one by six gray pieces. Two one by six gray pieces. Uh, dot one, and, and, oh god, oh god, and, got it. Okay, I want you to, um, hmm. <laughs> I want you to attach those to the four by 12 black piece, uh -huh. such that four pips are hanging off the end of it, starting at the 11, 12, rows uh and they will go on the um ex external columns of the black piece so that there is like a two by two black piece now in the middle got it that is empty got it okay i want you to attach that on the underside of the overhanging gray pieces uh -huh. such that it extends the body uh-huh got it okay and so it should now be it should now look like one one yellow rectangle with a red end. Yep. And then one larger black rectangle. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that... You... It, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Got it. <laughs> one. Yep. Two by four flat blue piece. E yes. And uh, I want you to put that between the gray spars. Mm -hmm. So that it's flush with their end, so that okay, so so that it is basically uh, acting as like a brace on the black piece that you just added. So that there's two pips on sure. the new black piece and two pips on the old black piece. Yep, got it. Next up, I want you to find a two by four flat gray piece. Got it. And use that to make kind of like a, a base of a U with the gray pieces. Sure. Yep. Okay. So that you've got a. Kind of a T-shape with the with the blue and the gray piece. Yep, got okay. it. Okay. I want you to find two large black triangular pieces. Uh huh. That are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten by uh, ten by ten, uh -huh. like ten wide, ten high. Yep. And I want you to find two white pieces that are eight by eight, or eight base, eight height. Yep. Okay. I want you to put the, make two, uh, two pieces where you have a white piece on top and in the middle of the, or a white triangle in the middle of the black triangle. Uh-huh, got okay. it. Okay. And I want you to put those next to the gray U's so that you're making a wing shape. Wide edge of the wings. Uh huh. At kind of like the the bottom. Yep. I want you to put the gray one of the gray pieces. Yep. Uh, at if you're going in from the extremity of the wing. Yep. Skip one pip. Yep. Put one round piece such that it's overhanging, so that you've only got two pips on the wing. Okay. Wait. What? Sure. Uh -huh. Count in one space, like leave one space empty, and put in another one. Okay. So again, so that it's overhanging. Hmm. Hmm. Are you then? Hold on. Oh, that doesn't work. Meh. Okay. I want you to. Connect those so that the eight pip mm -hmm. is against the back edge of the wings, so that you're making kind of like a um, you're, it it should look like you're basically completing a wing shape or smoothing it out against mm -hmm. the overhang of what you've just done. Oh, so that the 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 three wide base of the triangle mm -hmm. should be against the one by three pieces that you've just attached. Mm-hmm. And the eight height should be against the back edge of the wings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the this will also be supported mm -hmm. by those round pieces that you put on earlier. Boo! 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, hold on, sorry. Uh, yeah, alright. Well, sure. Yep, this is good. This looks great. Yep. Uh-huh, <laughs> got it. 100%. It, okie dokie. I want you to find two more white 3x8 triangles. Three, yep, got them. Okay. Um, I want you to put attach them mm -hmm. to the black wing shape so that they are flush with the back of the existing white triangles. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, they should be extending along the length, not the width. Sure, sure. Got okay. it. Okay. I want you to take those two square blue pieces uh -huh. and um, attach them symmetrically mm -hmm. on the interior... Okay, if the narrow edge of the, the white triangles is one, like the first first row is one, sure. I want them to be at the seven and eight pieces on the inside. Okay. They should be attaching to uh, two two black pips, one gray pip, and covering a smooth flat gray pip, a uh, smooth flat gray piece. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That's what's happening. All right, next. I want you to find a one by six white piece. Uh huh. Yep. Okay, and I want you to put that widthwise uh, next to those two blue pieces that you just attached, uh -huh. such that it joins the white triangles. Sure. Gotcha. Okay. I want you to find two uh -huh. one by ten blue pieces. Got it. Blue got pieces. it. And one one by six or two one by six blue pieces. Got it. Got it. Okay. I want you to put those. I want you to make a rectangle on top of the white pieces that you added earlier. So that you're it's you're putting the one by six blue piece uh -huh. on top of the. Uh, you've got your yellow triangle, or your yellow rectangle. Yeah. I want you to put the blue piece. On top of the white piece next to that, widthwise, oh, so okay. that you're just building up like kind of. You should be building up like a rectangular wall, uh -huh. almost. Okay. Okay. I want you to find two one by two bright yellow flat pieces. One by two bright yellow flat pieces. Got it. Got it. Okay. I want you to put those along the um, perimeter of the wall so uh -huh. that they're joining the white pieces that you yeah. just put on. Sweet. Yep. Got okay. it. Then I want you to find two, uh, they look like one by six flat white pieces mm -hmm. with smooth flat white pieces. Okay. And two, uh, they wait. look like one by four smooth flat white pieces. One by four, one by four, one by six, one by six. Got them, got them, okay. got them. And I want you to attach those so that they are completing the, the, the new layer of the wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, 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 they're building up the between the hinges, basically. Yeah. So that you wind up with one one by ten smooth yeah, flat uh, piece uh -huh. between the hinges. Mm. Mm. Alright. Mm. How do we do this? Uh-huh, that works. Okay. We only have about 40 more steps to go. Sick. I want you to put that on the interior of the frame. Okay. In the only two pips that won't cover the hinge, hinges. Yeah, okay. Sure. Got it. Okay. We're going to move away from that end of the structure to the yellow end of the structure now. Ah, okay. Okay. So I want you to find two uh, one by two gray wedges, taller gray wedges. One by two taller gray wedges. Yes? One one by two red block. That's taller and also has two pips on like the um, on the horizontal face of it. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, I want you to put that red piece yep. over top of the only red piece in the middle, so that the pips are facing outwards. Okay. Got it. Okay. I like it when I can do things you tell me to do. Me too. I need you to find two one by two brown pieces that have pips on the outer edges, on two of the outer edges. One by two. Or one by one. One by one. Brown 
bricks with brown, brown, brown. beige. Sure, yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, I want you to put those at the corners mm -hmm. over top of the red piece. Uh huh. Um, so that now that there is like uh, pips facing outwards. Sure. On both sides. Got it. Then I want you to find four more of the red one by two bricks with pips on the outer edge. One, two, three, four. Got it. Okay. I want you to put those lengthwise next to the brown pieces uh -huh. and next to the gray pieces. Yeah. Forming a U shape. Okay. So now you should have pips facing outwards all, all along that, that end of the... Yep. And then I want you to take two more, the, the other two pieces. Oh, yep. And put them next to the white piece that you attached ah, in okay. the previous step. Sure. Okay, I want you to find two more of the one by two gray bricks with a hole in, them, in their middle. Mm. Uh, one. And... Uh, wait. Uh-oh. There's not a lot left here. Hmm. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. okay. At the other... Okay, we've, we've got that nose section that we've been building with a control panel. Absolutely we do. And then if you just go back towards the 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 base, uh -huh. just a couple of rows, yeah. you will have two more red red bricks that you've put on. Yep. I want you to put the gray bricks on top of the rear pip of the red bricks, okay. joining the white brick, sure. joining oh. the white pip. Okay. Sure, so sure. that they're symmetrical with the uh, like the the gr the hole in the gray bricks. Yeah. Is like aligned with the 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 width. Sure. Yep. Got it. Okay. This is shockingly tricky. <laughs> Next, I want you to find two L-shaped two by two white bricks, taller bricks, not not thinner pieces. Okay. Wait. Got him. Okay. I want you to make a, like, put them uh, so that they're making a U shape. Uh huh. So that you've got like a two by four yep. U shape. Yep. And then use that to cover the yellow piece on top of that weird black shape. Uh huh. And then a gray pip and then the white pips that we just put on. Uh, sure. Uh huh. That can't be. Sure. Got it. I want you to attach that substructure. Yep. Over top of the control panel. Like, there should be four white pips. Uh huh. Attach the windshield to those four white pips next to the, next to the control panel. Uh oh. I don't want to alarm you, but. It's perfect. I got it. Okay, and then the white flat piece on the top should join up with the pieces that we just attached. It certainly does not. Moving on. Oh, <laughs> our poor Lego. <laughs> it betrayed us. What 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 do we got? I, okay. Uh, I want you to find two of these oddly shaped white bricks. Uh huh. That are like curved and angled. They have two white pips on the top. Yep. And they look like they should be two by six. Yep. I want two, you to do it. Two of them? Yeah. Got them. Those go above, like. <laughs> okay, near the windshield. I guarantee you, they go nowhere near this windshield. <laughs> it's okay, James. We're yeah. having fun, and that's what's important. Not in a million years do these go near this windshield. <laughs> Well, I should. <laughs> I don't even. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. James. Uh huh. I want to ask you what you think you're building. I mean, it. It feels like some sort of spaceship. Yes. But uh, currently, any person who would be riding this spaceship would very much die. Well, that's um, not unusual, really, in the history of human man's space of flight. Of man's space flights. Do you like to come and check out what I've done? Sure. I, I, I think you're going to be 
pleasantly surprised. Oh, that looks sweet, actually. So I really like the like the forward swept wings. <laughs> yeah. So I I I feel like we were more or oh. less on the right track. I know what's happened. Oh, that goes like that. Yeah. So that's helpful. I mean, that certainly makes it look a little nicer. All right, so I feel like on a scale of 1 to 10, we scored about a 4. Uh, at least I figured out what it was supposed to be. Like, I, I realized very quickly, like, the minute I saw, like, the big... Oh, these! What the hell? Okay. How... Oh, it's because they were, we were backwards. That makes... Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, okay. Because okay. the problem is, is that I was like, uh, no. Right. <laughs> uh, but that they, is kind of how they're supposed to go. Oh, wait, that did work. Wait, yeah. Wait, now it did work. What the... Okay, I'm... Just, See? Just yeah. Just get it away from me. Uh, okay. No, no, we can we can fix we this. can fix this. This is going to be in fine. Post. In post, this is going to look great. It's going to look like the plane did, because remember, the plane did not look like this when we built it. So uh, I feel like I feel like we did pretty good. What was the other set that you got? Clearly oh. very colorful. Um, a lot of like very I'll nice blues and pinks. I noticed that there was I, a nice comb. I, I noticed that since we were going for space flight. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna put a little dog in there, and it was well, gonna. It, it worked. It's gonna die. Kind of. <laughs> What's Ooh. the dog's name again? Laika. Oh, poor Laika. But they, they groomed Laika before they sent her into space. Uh huh. So. Okay. Oh wait, we even. All right, I think that's gonna be it. For, keep talking and nobody Legos. Next time, maybe something that doesn't fly. Looking for a fun night out? Look no further than Charleston, West Virginia, where there is an indoor axe throwing range being added to the Lucky Dill Deli. So you'll be able to buy sandwiches and alcoholic drinks and then test your axe throwing prowess. Is a Lucky Dill Deli like a small Italian dildo? I don't know why everybody's getting all worked up about it. This sounds like an amazing Saturday night. What they don't tell you is they're integrating half of the course into an escape room. Nothing says team building like possibly getting decapitated with your friends. Yeah, and when you're drunk, it doesn't hurt as much. You can take at least two or three axes to the chest. Beach, I know you don't drink, but alcohol doesn't turn you into a fucking Resident Evil boss. I don't know, Ben. I've been around an awful lot of drunk people before, and I can never understand a... Goddamn thing they're saying. They always get really friendly and needy and they want stuff from me. Dude, you need to stop getting faced with the cast of Animal Crossing. Yeah, Rosie's a mean drunk. Yeah, and I heard last time Blathers kept trying to take his dick ben! out. Ben! Holy shit. Too far. Now y'all Googling Al dick, aren't ya? I don't I don't know if it's space worthy. <laughs> I mean it might get to space, but I don't know if it would survive re-entry very well. It has a pair. It has sort of pontoons. Yeah, it's, the, it's got like a pair of like sledges. That's the Mass Effect kind of mandibles that all of the oh, yeah. sci-fi ships have now. Like it may not be space worthy, but it is worthy. Yeah, yeah. That's what's important. Oh, it's good. Look, it can like hold, sit there on its own. Yeah, I like the inverted wings. It's an interesting. Uh, it's, it's like it, scoops. There's a few things on it that are not super structurally stable, though. Yeah. I think James ended up, he was saying that he actually ended up, like, bending <laughs> to make it, well, yeah, to the, make it you can see the blue ones on the side are just, like... Oh, yeah, they're just kind of, like, sticking up. Yeah. yeah. These are just, like, it's yeah, fine. so that they yeah, would stop popping. Fine. Yeah, as, as we all know, in building a spaceship, the number one thing you want to hear is, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the alternative is that this is not fine, which is, <laughs> you, you really true. don't want to understand. Don't yeah. mic's on. Dan, is your mic on? Uh, not, even a little bit. not even a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so percent. Dan's here. I said things. Yeah, we did a whole we did a whole bit. Hey, uh, that was it was going? great. That was a fun bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I liked I liked by the way uh, because it, <laughs> no one no one watching knew that you were necessarily going to be here in the in the the pre like the in the very very opening pre recorded sketch mm -hmm. where we're all drawing straws to see who's <laughs> going to be the New Year's Steve. Yeah. And it, you're there, and some people in chat were like. Who the hell's that? <laughs> Who's well, the guy in yellow? Well, yeah. Well, every every year there's like a one in twelve chance that American becomes the the New Year's Steve, yeah. and we, we don't yeah. know what'll happen. But it, I just we need to find out. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. So, but now we're gonna play this or that partially crowdsourced edition.
uh, because some people had very kindly sent me some thises and or thats. Um, did they send you both halves of it, or did they, they just did, send you thankfully. one? And then, yeah. yeah, during during Desert Bus, um, some people sent some stuff over, and I didn't, didn't get to all of them, and uh, some have been sent since then. And uh, yeah, if you're keen to send me something, uh, let me know. Um, I prefer if, uh, rather than just a list, uh, I said this during Desert Bus, but I would, uh, rather than just a, a hard list, if there's actually some kind of supplementary trivia, mm. so it's not just like, no, it's this. Next question, you know. So it's, yeah, yeah, I like the little extra bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flavor text. So <laughs> the first round uh, from uh, Sly Guy Forty Six, who's one of the the mods on um, the wrestling subreddit. This is Uh-oh. wrestling move or magic card, which I believe mm-hmm. we did a round of during Desert Bus, but not this round. Yeah, I know. I did. I did a few rounds of or magic card, like X or magic mm-hmm. card during Desert Bus, but I don't think it's wrestling move. Yeah, we'll see if Dan's gotten gotten rusty in the in Probably, his, in his but, time but, away from Watsi. Yeah, mm. we'll see. Yeah. There, there's a very there's a span of years where I've got it nailed, and then if it's outside of that, we might be hosed. All right, Diamond Cutter. I'm gonna, I, I'd say wrestling move. I'm wrestling, say, yeah, it's got to be a wrestling move. Yes, indeed, that is the finishing move of Diamond Dallas Page. Right, that makes the sense. Diamond Cutter. It looks very much like an RKO. Mm. The diamond cutter. It's, it's it's very very similar. He doesn't just cut people in half. No. <laughs> wow. My Shimmer. Interest. Card. Is, is, is it, wait? Yeah. Is there a both? Uh, there could be. Okay. Okay. In this case, I'm not going to say, but uh, but it's right. good yeah. to check. It's a card. I'm going to say yeah, card. Yeah, you already I, wait I'm in first. Right. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. It is the it is the name of an all women's wrestling promotion. But not a wrestling move, but yes, a magic card from yeah. Woo! from Mirage. You can't you, you can't kill somebody. You can, you can't end a end a match yeah. with that's like oh the shimmer. Well, unless yeah. well unless it's like a heel or somebody, right? Like you can I can, it's I can like imagine glow glitter in their face. But like yeah. the shimmer oh. is something that you can just like barely see. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like oh he's doing that. Someone wiggling a cape. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oubliette. That, uh, oh. that is de- definitely a magic. It's card. definitely a magic card. It's very complicated. I want to say both. Yeah. As a, as a wrestling move, it would be great. Yeah. Yeah. I, but I think it's just going to be forgotten. Because it's just like a little bit too French to be a wrestling move. But I. But now would, I want a French buzzword. But it would not surprise me. It would not surprise me if it were a wrestling move. I think it's just a magic card. Though. Just a magic card. It is just a magic card. Okay. Ah. Yeah, from Arabian had, Nights, it's the black wrestling O-ring. move would just be like, he just leaves. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what? You're not fighting anymore? No, no. you're not worth Just it. A trap door opens you. in the yeah. stage and then Choo- he falls into a pit. Uh, lost in the woods. It's a magic card. Ma- yeah, definitely. Yeah, like magic card. <laughs> Again, that would be a very weird... I mean, maybe it is, but that yeah. would be a very... It's just like you have to watch an entire Broadway show up <laughs> into the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say magic card. Just magic card. It's both. Yeah. Oh. Damn is it. there a guy whose last name is Woods? Xavier Woods. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, fin- it's the finishing move of Xavier Woods from so the new day. So you go inside day? of him? No, what, is just, what is it? What is it? No, he hugs you and you just get lost in his arms. Oh, that yeah. doesn't sound so bad. No, yeah. I mean, that as far as great. finishing moves go, it's very Yeah, gentle. you're finished because you don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, you can't he's, fight he's that. He's got a smell that just evokes nostalgia. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a calming scent. Mm-hmm. It's, it is, it is an inverted stomp face breaker. I was, I was way off. Yeah, yeah. Skull crushing finale. Move. I think it's just a move. Yeah. Move. Yeah, yeah, I think just a move. It is just a move. It's the finishing move of The Miz. I'm pretty sure there's like finale and like skull crush as like magic cards. There's like a life's finale. Together. Yeah. 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 All right, so there's five more questions in this category, but this is the subcategory of the all bomb round. What, is, what does that mean? What is, I have no idea what this means. I guess they all have bomb in the name. Correct. Oh, Woo! okay. Dr. Bomb. I... Wait, is this a move or a guy? <laughs> fin- fin- finishing move? Move. Or move. Finishing move. <laughs> so, oh, I mean, it... I guess it could be an uncard now. It's the finishing right? move of Dr. Death Steve Williams. Oh, Wait, what? Know. Dr. Death does the Dr. Bomb? Yeah. <laughs> okay, does that, he bring make, in that makes guy? a lot... Well, no, that makes a lot more sense because it's just like it's named. It's like, well, what kind of a bomb does a doctor have? A doctor. The, the bomb. doctor bomb. Yeah. No, mm. the bomb has a doctorate. Uh, uh yeah. he went to bomb school yeah. for like eight years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
My license, my, my, my medical degree is in exploding. <laughs> Goblin bomb. Card. Card. There's is there a wrestler named Goblin? Goblin? There's <laughs> Goblin Grenade. There's oh. Goblin... There's a lot of goblins that blow themselves up. I is there think, actually I, a I goblin there, bomb? Well, goblin grenade was reprinted like 18 billion times, but I think there was like one goblin bomb a long time. I'm gonna ago. say yeah. I think I think, it, yeah. I think it's a card. It is just a magic card. Yeah. Okay. If someone, I wouldn't be surprised if there was someone who was like so and so the goblin somebody. Yeah. Doctor yeah. Goblin. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it could easily be a goblin. Yeah. It's thing. like how, how you get from goblin to bomb in the ring is a little bit weird. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Ratchet bomb. I mean, that it's is a definitely a card. Yep. Yeah. Is it also a move? It I'm doesn't. Gonna, I'm gonna is say it a move based on the card? <laughs> Dude, I, that would I mean, be awesome. A Magic the Gathering how, based wrestling. I don't know how card. you're gonna translate that card to a wrestling move. Yeah. yeah. Ratchet bomb? Well, I mean, like, if you're like a mechanic or something, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm Ooh. gonna say just the card. Yeah, it is just a card. card. Time bomb! Ooh. That's gonna be both. That is definitely a card. So there's going to be someone I'm, I'm named sure Time. Card. Is it a card? Or I thought it was a card. Oh, now I don't know. I became unsure. Yeah, I mean it very well might be. I'm going to say I'm going to say both. The way I see the move playing out is okay. it does like, I don't know, it sidewalk slam, I guess that's a move. Mm -hmm. And then they just everyone does everything in reverse. Uh, and then they or, like reset the stage I'm from before say, the bomb. That would be or, amazing. Well, I'm going to yeah. say it's just a move. What, what what about if the guy he does like a pile driver on the guy? Yeah. He goes, Ugh! but then the guy is like fine. Mm -hmm. And then the next day he goes like. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the six it's a steps. delayed it's yeah. a delayed reaction. Yeah, yeah. Exploding heart so technique. The time bomb is a magic card from Ice Age. That. Yeah. Uh, it's is that the one that has like the weird skeleton on it? It's like. Uh, yes, exactly. It's a four mana artifact. During your upkeep, put a time counter on time bomb. One and tap, sack time bomb to have it deal X damage to each creature where X is equal to the number of time counters on time bomb. Yeah. Is it also a move? It is also yes. <laughs> the nice. finishing move of Hiromu Takahashi, the ticking time bomb, Ooh. and is a fireman's carry into a high angle sit out power slam. Sit out power slam. Yeah. Sit out means that you sit down when you throw the guy. Oh. Huh. Uh -huh. So there you go. Huh. Uh, and finally, the blue thunder bomb. That's just a move. That's just a move. Yeah, gotta be just a move. Yeah, that's Sami Zayn's finisher. <laughs> All right, round two. Fight. The the other two rounds both involve movies. Okay. Oh, uh, this round sent in by Nick the DM is uh, B movie title from the eighties or nineties, or comic book superhero team. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Also from the 80s or 90s, or just from where? I'm from from whenever. Ooh. Night Flyers. That's a oh. movie. That's a movie. I think it's a movie. Yeah. It's not going it. to be a comic book thing. I've people seen some flying in the I, dark. That's unsafe. I've seen some weird comic Set book. A bad example for kids. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say movie. Correct. A 1987 horror sci-fi thriller. Hmm. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of help so we can move through this round. Maybe maybe a little bit more quickly. This round has no boths. Okay. Excellent. Ah. So. Uh, Still gonna say it. All right. Space truckers. That, that's a, a, a game or a board game. Yeah, that's. But I, I don't play know that if, game. if uh, there's a comic team. It sounds like the worst comic book yeah, team ever. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some bad ones. I'm gonna go with. I, I'm going to go with movie. I think it's a movie. It's a comic book. It is a sci-fi comedy from 1997. Okay. I was wrong. Uh, Robo Warriors. Comic book. Hmm. So comic book team? Yeah, it's got to be a comic well, no, 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 no. I, I could see this being a movie, but I, I'm going to say comic books. I think it's a comic book. It is a uh, sci-fi action comedy from 1996. Uh, yes. Interesting. Yes. Metal Men. Comic. I'm just gonna go down with the ship until I get one. Comic. Yeah, that's. I think that's a comic. Yeah, it's a it's a DC Comics team, of they're they're men made of metal. Oh, I know those guys. Yeah, the they're, Metal Men. <laughs> it's, it's literally. I play, it's, I play no, it's like it's like 
Their no, names are like iron and steel yeah, and gold. Yeah, they were in uh, Batman Brave and the Bold. Yeah. They showed up a few oh. times. Gold is like really malleable, so he can like stretch himself oh, really weird. thin. They, yeah, they, and sometimes they hawk him for extra cash. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they, uh, they play a little fast and loose with the chemical properties of the different uh, elements, yeah. I think. But yes. Spitfire and the Troubleshooters. Comic. Comic. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a, that's a hero team. Does anybody remember... Marvel's new universe. Which one? <laughs> it, no, it was it was called the new universe. Okay. They made it for like four years in the late eighties. Is that the new god stuff? No, it was that that was actually it was pointedly it was a completely separate universe. There was no supernatural stuff, no gods, no cosmic entities. It was meant to be more sort of gritty and realistic. Mm. And Spitfire and the Troubleshooters was a team of Professor Jenny Swenson. And a bunch of friends of hers who get into mech suits. Yay! You know, this gritty was the, and realistic. This, yeah, this was the gritty yeah. realistic one. Uh, apparently, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, did I say, yeah, Marvel, yeah, yeah. It yeah, lasted Marvel. for like two issues. It <laughs> was gritty and realistic. Uh, let's see here. I want that to be new with a G. All right, let's do some numbers. Just the... Uh-oh. DEFCON 4. Movie. Yeah, it's got a movie. movie. That's a movie from 1985. Deep Star Six. Movie. Movie. Yeah, movie. 1989 sci-fi horror. Gen 13. That's, a, that's a superhero team. Comic, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. those guys. From Image Comics. Yeah. DP7. <laughs> that could be either. Iron awesome such movie. A, yeah. It's such a... <laughs> is that their... Is that, uh, is that like the acronym for their name or that's their real name? It's just DP7. I'm gonna guess movie. Is it D E E P E E? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I say, I guess say a movie. Uh, that is a Marvel Comics team, f also from the from the New Universe, but they were later used more recently. DP does stand for something. I can't remember what. It's like the P is like phantasmal or something. Ooh. But, yeah. That's that's tricky. Oh yeah. When you use it as an initial, but it doesn't sound like the letter. Zone Troopers. Movie. Movie. Yeah, movie. Yeah, 1985 sci-fi adventure. The Others. Comic movie. books. That is some movie, I'm pretty sure. It's a horror movie, isn't it? But not like a B-movie. Displaced Paranormals, thank you. That's what DP stands oh. for. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm going to say movie. Yeah. Uh, it is a DC Comics team. There was, I think there was a recent horror yeah, movie called Yeah, I was going to say, that, called I Brothers. guess that's, that's yeah. it's it not an 80s movie. Yeah. It's yeah. not an 80s B movie. Stormwatch. Movie. Comic. Movie. Comics. Comics. DC. The wow. DC team. Shadow Pack. Oh my god, there's a storm! <laughs> Don't worry, Shadow Stormwatch Pack. is here. <laughs> yeah. What? You're not doing anything. No, no we're, we're gonna watch watching it. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big. It's, it's, this is one it's, of the larger storms we've seen. It's a great storm. Yeah. Shadow mm -hmm. Pact comic. Shadow Pact. Yeah, I like. I comic. like that as a comic. Yeah. Yep. DC Comics. Trancers. <laughs> Trancers. Ah, uh, that's a movie. That's a movie. Movie. 1984 action sci-fi. I love the idea of a super like Trancers superhero team. Yeah. That like they're all like hypnotism like like yeah. mind control related mm -hmm. heroes <laughs> extreme justice <laughs> <laughs> i bet that's i mean a, there's uh, young justice superhero team other justice that shouldn't have happened movie movie dc comics ah, yes. shouldn't have happened so yeah. extreme <laughs> street trash <laughs> <laughs> comic movie uh, movie 1987 comedy horror. <laughs> Lords of the Deep. Cat. Movie. 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 Ah, 1989 like sci-fi thriller. Of Leviathans, like, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> which I would read for sure. Yeah. Omega Men. <laughs> Comic. Yeah. Yeah. Omega Man was a movie, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> oh, that's and a get book, you. was it? Yeah. Invaders. Comic. Movie. Movie. It's a Marvel Comics team uh -huh. and a 1995 did, TV series, but not a movie. Did they just invade stuff? 
It's right. a nice apartment you got there. And I'm going to move on to the last round. Some people were joking about uh, uh, some people in chat were uh, right. DP7 set some people off. They were like, uh, "Is this is this TOS?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this last round, this is uh, similarly sort of. Uh, this is not necessarily 80s or 90s, but uh, B movie, sort of like you know, schlocky B movie, or porn studio. <laughs> Porn studio, not porn studio, not porn movie, not movie. Okay, movie or porn studio. Does anyone know the names of any real porn studios? Anyone? Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Let's begin with Evil Probably Angel. Not. Evil Angel. Uh, is there? Wait, is this one where there could be either? Is, is no. there a both? No, no okay. there's no both. Uh, I get this studio movie. Studio. That is a porn studio. I don't know any ancillary information about these because I just pulled it from the Wikipedia <laughs> entry for list of porn studios, <laughs> and I wasn't prepared to. The surprisingly up to date and uh, authoritative. Wikipedia yeah, it's, entry. it's amazing. Vampire lovers. Movie. Movie. It's gotta be a movie. Yeah, it's an that, erotic vampire flick yeah, from that, 1970. That, that studio would be way too. I feel like way the line's very thin here. <laughs> Robot monster. Studio. Studio. Movie. It's a monster flick from 1953. <laughs> oh. Extreme Associates. Studio. Studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am one of the associates. The Big Doll House. <laughs> movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kind of hope movie. Studio. It is. Uh, I, I saw it described as a sleaze film from 1971. <laughs> uh, so it was uh, like a movie made by. A, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying the, the lines are very thin. Adam and Eve. Studio. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Club Jenna. <laughs> movie. Studio. Studio. Yeah, founded by Jenna Jameson. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Moron movies. <laughs> now, that seems like a trap. <laughs> <laughs> studio. Studio. Yeah, studio? So it's a movie. It's apparently a weird compilation of, like, basically crap shots, like 15 second barely gags from this one guy that was made in 1985. Johnny Carson thought it was so entertaining that he had this guy repeatedly come on the show and just like show and them. just like do stuff. <laughs> I, and I'm just huh. hearing about it now, so I'm like, oh, yeah. interesting. More on movies as porn studios. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Devil's film. Movie. Studio. Yeah, movie. It's a porn studio. Really? Ah. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. they do, but yeah. Okay, it feels like that, that, that's taking it like so, taking themselves way too seriously. Yeah. Digital Sin. Movie. Uh, studio. Studio. Yeah, it's a porn studio. Yeah. <laughs> Miami Connection. Uh, <laughs> movie? <laughs> <laughs> movie? I guess movie. the ninja. <laughs> uh, it's a movie. It's from 1987. <laughs> Apparently, uh, like, a synth keyboard group fights biker gangs. Have you not seen oh, it? Oh no, God. I really want to see it. Yeah, like, but it's more like a martial arts recruitment film, and so whenever the martial art master does something, they have like the slow recap footage of every oh, wow. of every like kick. Oh my god! It's, oh. Can we watch that? Oh. Third degree movie. Movie. Yeah, movie. Porn studio. <laughs> what? What did they do? What, what, what are what are what are the first two degrees? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the fourth degree? Well, there's a riff track in Miami Connection. Oh, I'm in. I'm 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 so in. All like right. we know the third degree is porn, but what are the other ones? <laughs> Megaforce. Megaforce. Movie. Megaforce. Studio. Uh, pa Power Rangers series. <laughs> uh, st studio. <laughs> No, it's a movie. It's from 1982. It looks like some sort of like, like s s terrible sci-fi Mad Max kind of thing. Aww. <laughs> Pink visual. Studio. Studio. Yeah. 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 Galaxina. Movie. 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 It's a movie, starring former Playmate of the Year Dorothy Stratton from 1980. Uh -huh. But it's a movie. And then, oh, and then the last one I had was 
Sin City. Just a, a, movie. a movie. Which I was... This, is it also... Is it it's also... I said, I said there's no both. It's also the name of a porn studio. Oh, yeah. Okay. And just called themselves Sin City. That's, that's it. That seems very unimaginative as a porn name. Right? Yeah. There, yeah. Was, some, there was some really boring <laughs> names of porn studios. Were there studios. really explicit ones? Yeah. Like... People having sex. Fuck <laughs> Limited. No, <laughs> they were all just sort of like, like there was a lot in the realm of like playful and like naughty, like digital sin and devils, you know, like a lot of like, you know, presumably, like, the, presumably their logos involve horns, you know. But they, they, there's like, like somehow there's like, you know, like digital sin or whatever. It's kind of like playful, naughty, just like the devil's movie. It's yeah. kind of like, at that point, it's just like, that's not. That's that, that's that's gone it's, past sexy. Yeah, that's, like now just, that's now that's just scary. It's like just a Satan porn a production. Of, yeah. Uh, what? So. Yeah. All right. Devil titties. <laughs> <laughs> that that <laughs> movie. There's some great ones in chat. Yeah, Butt that, stuff Inc. That <laughs> Dong Corp. <laughs> they be fucking LLC. <laughs> ha. Huh. Hmm. Is there one called the the Pornopticon? No, there is not, Holy and there shit. should be. What? There a lot. I feel like porn studios don't don't really go in for the like the the, the pun name. No, so I don't have any interest in How getting are they into supposed this. supposed to build a brand? I don't have any interest in moving the into name, this industry, but I think I at least need to go make a URL. The porn name, yeah. right? That, now yeah. the the studio, the, obviously the names of the porn are big on the pun names. Yeah, but the but the but the studios themselves not so much. Yeah, it's a real problem, I think. Yeah, they need to really get with it. <laughs> Speaking of getting with it, let's yeah. get with some stream highlights. So that, that wasn't a terrible segue. Yeah, um, here's uh, we're gonna show you some highlights from the last couple weeks of streams here on the Loading Ready Run Twitch channel, and then when we come back, well, we're gonna get a bucket. But check out the stream highlights in the meantime. My forum friends also said that uh, the, the hot thing on the internet is fabricating statistics, and that I should get some of those as well. Oh, oh holy shit! <laughs> Eat it. I. Th I think he ate it. That's not where his mouth is. <laughs> it's an amazing quest. Oh, there's a strawberry. It's huge. Holy shit. Do you put it in the flowers? I'm taking this shit home. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no no no. <laughs> Like, you didn't see that coming. That's fair. What the shit? I became a fucking dragon. What? <laughs> Why stop at three teleprompters? Look at Good Paul, point. teleprompter. Look at myself, teleprompter. Look at Graham, his face, now a teleprompter. Diamonds into my mouth. He's shitting diamonds because we've replaced his face with a teleprompter. Why not? Beautiful Old Spice memes. It's still going. Yep. Did you know that it stacks? Yep. <laughs> Play it safe, my dude. Fuck! We came ashore on the same beach the general had pointed to on the map. If nothing else, we started off on the right foot. All right, everybody out, Daryl ordered. The four of us strolled right onto the beach just like the general told us to. Oh my god! Everyone checked their weapons just like we were supposed to. <laughs> oh my god! Caught off guard like the last boys who strolled through here. Um, New Day Tuesday on the Tuesday is... I thought it was Heather doing something. Yes. Yes. Plus Jesus kills. Christ! Oh no! Your texture is improperly wrapped, sir. Sir? Oh, this poor, poor object. It's like, oh yeah, this looks fine. You got me dead on board, Stark. Do I? Wait, do I? Three, four, five, six, seven. Shut up. Three, yep. six, yep. eight, yep. which is more than, less than ten. Ah. Beep beep. <laughs> the woman got stabbed! Uh, the Toskete Hitoka Shinda! Wow. Oh, wow, good for him. All right, you're gonna have to tell me what all this means. That's a phone. <laughs> you feet cold? No. Oh, you just keep standing in lava. What a profoundly shitty thing for me to do. I don't actually 
actually think well. that we're capable of taking this corner. Well, that happened. Okay, play this at home after <laughs> Penelope's gone to bed. <laughs> Well, Grant, playing Destiny, see who won't be reading over my shoulder, asking me what I'm doing. <laughs> Carving some chunks off this thirsty fellow. I am the greatest warrior. No, you're not. Remember, you're you're a military man who suppresses your emotions. Right. They shall feel my fury. I said suppresses your emotions. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, <Get it>. right. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> destroy me. Bye, Gilded Lotus. Oh, you're dead. You're fucking dead. <laughs> hey, Kalidus. <laughs> we just done blew up his flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gilded Lotus. Delicious. We're herbivores. <laughs> <laughs> oh, skill. <laughs> the French champagne. Are we BM? No! No! They can't hear us. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> ah! Ah! What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! I like look over for a half second and be like, I better check to see what the chat's doing. And it's like, you and what? I'm like, what? I don't know what? Oh shit! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck! Fuck! No. Fuck! 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 Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. So oh, that was so close to being like almost halfway. Hold on, wait. I can make this better. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Beach was a was a was a plain wife. At one point, knock, 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 open up the door, it's I, with the non-stop pop-up, way up in the sky. Wow! <laughs> so Ian's not the only one who can reference that. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's down, with the non-stop pop-up of D.U. Rounds. Wow! <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, we didn't we didn't agree on that, did we? No. no. Shoot the bits. They'll explode into other bits. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yep. I missed this. Did you just want to turn loading ready run streaming into a number station? Like we can just sit here. Five. Two. Seven. Three. Eight. Three. Eight. Six. Eight. Six. six Four twenty. <laughs> the generator is being kept off site on the back of a pterodactyl. <laughs> How does that work? Franco asked. A psychic tether. It's something what? we reverse engineered from the aliens. <gasps> oh my god! A where's Heather? Horse? Where's Heather? Heather! Heather! Get in here! A new wrinkle! A rival horse has appeared! What? Yes! No! Yes! Is he prettier? Look oh, at him! He is he's much a, prettier. He's a bad boy oh. horse! Going back to the box of mysteries. Oh boy. Wabam! <laughs> no, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's good. Everything's normal. This poker, is fine. Poker face. Poker, poker face. face. Poker face. Oh. Favorite thing to no. do. <laughs> oh my god! Smash. Ew, can you milk beach? Oh. I don't know why, but that's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard anybody ever say. And I've heard some pretty gross shit in my ears. <laughs> hey, Beach, do you lactate much? <laughs> no. Can you be milked? Okay, cool. That I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. We're, oh! We're now out of bounds. All right. Let's go. Which means... Oh, yes. Yes! Convoy! Perfect. Perfect. Flawless. Oh, I wonder if there's an upper limit to acceleration. Yes! Ye 
I'm out! Yeet! Yeah, weird. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Great we job! Did it. You got domed! <laughs> enjoyed snooping around in other people's houses and taking things that didn't belong to her. Wow! Here we go. Once again, pick a card, put it in our deck. Boo dee doo dee doo dee doo. Boo boop boo doop boop 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 doop. Singing songs. Like a dope. Singing songs. On a rope. Yeah. That was a good song. at Loading Ready Run. I would say that Ian and I are keen culinary appreciators. Mm. We have a lot of ideas that cannot be contained within the normal rules of cookery. The gourmets and the gourmands. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. What was that first word? Gourmet. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, ooh, I am very dark, but that's okay. Uh, well, Nothing says gourmet in this day and age like an artisanal aioli. That's right. Why, why must you say it like that? I, I can't <laughs> live any other way. I can't think of another way to say it anymore. Uh, so, what, 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 me and Ian decided that we were not content. Oh, then. That one, yeah, there we you go. We have a lovely burger shop. Hey, there we are. That provides oh, a number of aioli's. That's true, that's true. When you go to bin four, and they're like, what kind of aioli do you want? Garlic, Have, jalapeno, bacon, wasabi, yeah, I think. many options, but. They're good, I like them. Not enough. No, I don't think there's enough. So Ian and I brainstormed, and did you know that we came up with 12 flavors hitherto unknown? No, we That's came impressive. up with more than 12. 12? That's true. Wow. We, we had to edit ourselves down. Yes. Dang. And we think all of them are culinary home runs. Oh, yes. So I present to you. Who's on mic four? Because you're not on. I mean, I hope it's not me. One second. I'm going to have to scooch because I'm just under my dress. Ah. Uh, Hi, Kathleen. I am on mic four. Ah. Uh. I so we came up with yes. Is the green light on? Yes. No, it is. Okay, well there you go. Different aliens. I'm so glad I did that whole intro <laughs> without a mic on. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Hi. Almost perfect show. But anyhow, we've come up with twelve new aiolis. Now these are not only just a ta a, a, a a wonderland no. for your senses of taste and smell, mm -hmm. but also touch. And and sight. Yeah, this like I'm is supposed to put my fingers in it. Yeah, no, like no. we we switch it around. No, no, this is just mouthfeel. Oh, I uh, see. Okay. Mouthfeel, visual. Whoa, why the colors. Is, why is one blue? <laughs> That's so rad. Well, I mean, no, no, no. Oh. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, let's. If only we had an overhead shot. What is <laughs> this? Uh, Peach or a bar? What is this? Peach these are all uh. natural flavors. Is this is this shot closer in? We might well we might need somebody in here working camera. Mm. We've got oh six people God. sitting in the front zone. I'm sure one can come over. There we this are. It's good though. Yeah. There we what are. is that? Oh wow, that came out like oatmeal. That. It's like rainbowy. Like oatmeal. Yeah, like this one's pink. Mm -hmm. Why? There's some orange ones. There's some less orange ones. There's a cut. There's like three brown ones, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a standard color. That doesn't. It's like uh, it's like the blizzard, right? Like you know, you shake it upside down. Neato. Those ones. Sure? Got, and these all have these all are mixed with mayonnaise. Yes, all the mayonnaise is the base that's of all the this one. That's the best part. For <laughs> all of them, all of them, all of them are a mayonnaise. All of these qualify as aioli. Just so I'm just so impressed. Every one of these ingredients yeah. is considered food. <laughs> cool, that's an important Not part. even edible, but yeah, actual but food. Yeah. Yes, these are all things right. that people right. like to eat. All right. Yeah, these are, all, these are all things that are delicious. I, because really? anything is edible. That that doesn't make it like no. That's that, that doesn't that doesn't narrow it down. Everything can be eaten. My car is not edible. You can eat a car <laughs> very slowly. Well, not yeah, okay. you should on it. You shouldn't eat a car, but you can eat a car. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. So, in order to have some fairness, we're going to roll, you guys are going to roll dice, and the high roll gets to pick first, and you all are going to, like, sort of, like, go through and taste all of these delicious things. You're all going to taste everything, but... Oh, sweet. You want to go first? This is to give sure. you the illusion of choice. So, we're rolling two dice? Two yeah. dice. Okay. Damn it. I was hoping you weren't going to say, because I was uh, going to we got a one. six. All, all right. right. going to beat that with two. There's no way. Four! <laughs> Wait, are we going for a lowest number? No. Yeah. Congratulations, Eight. Graham. You win. Which one do you want to eat? 
So is this numbers 1 through 12? Do I, they're numbered 1 through 12. Ian will tell you what is what after you're done. Do, do, I, do I, can I pick based on visual? Or yeah, yeah, visual, because oh. visual presentation is pick so important. Pick the blue one. Maybe you take a safety one. And because we care, we bought you all fresh french fries. That's true. They're, They're slowly of... getting cold. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna just gonna eat this so I can remember what the good days taste like. <laughs> these these were in the fryer mm -hmm. just what? as this or that was happening. What cold. kind of mayonnaise? Yeah. Did you Hellman's. buy you bought Hellman's real mayonnaise? Yes, okay. yes, real mayonnaise. Alright, Graham's opted for Hellman number three. One. The neon orange one. Beautiful, bright yellow, a pleasing color. Oh yeah, get right in get there. Get in there. Oh, it's in, I'm in yeah. there. Yeah. The color of Dutch royalty. I'm thinking this is going to be like New Jersey poutine. I'm I'm making sure not to smell them first. I think it's cheese whiz. I wouldn't smell them. Cheese whiz, gotta be. That's not bad. Oh snap, that's pass good. All right, now pass it down. See, I told oh. you. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, we're having all twelve of these. Right. Like I said, the okay. illusion of choice. All right. I think it's cheese. Oh, it's kind of, ooh, it's like puffy. I don't, I don't mind it. Ami Yumi? Yeah, no, it's good. I could, I could probably eat that normally. And what is number no, three? No, I don't really like it very much. I think number three is flavored with macaroni and cheese seasoning. That's hey, why I don't right. like it very much. All right, <laughs> all right. Uh, then you were next. Okay. So you choose. <sighs> I mean, one kind of. I think macaroni and cheese seasoning and mayonnaise might actually be the recipe for cheese whiz. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes very similar. I'm gonna go like, with the one that actually just looks like mayonnaise. <laughs> okay, okay. Which, what's Which the number on that? This is number ten. Okay, number good. ten. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, well try it. Oh, what's the ingredient? Mineral oil. Oh. That's I mean, a good smell. I like it. Emulsified. Yeah, I wouldn't oil. smell them. <laughs> I'm gonna get a big, big old chunk, an ostrich egg. Big old chunkaroo with that Boy. good stuff. <laughs> so it's not just mayonnaise well, is what you're saying. mistakes were made. <laughs> well, we were going in order, so you're next. I, I like, actually, I really like, okay, I think I know what this one is. I like it. Okay. You, you're going to like this one, Graham. Can I guess it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's vinegar? No. But no. you're very close. It's vinegary. <laughs> Ammonia. Wow, <laughs> that's great. It's what citric it? acid. It's oh, so good. Wow. Yes. Holy crap! Give me some more of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, don't <laughs> don't go too hard. That's We've not... got ten more aiolis to try. Again, there. I want to I want to eat them like when I enjoy them, <laughs> so I can remember what we'll the good taste. We'll put this one aside. Like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Beach? Beach? That's a good palate cleanser. Was it lactose? I mean, we're all dying to find out what the what the no. what the neon blue <laughs> one is. Oh. So why is it so blue? Yeah. I gotta know. I I gotta know. You all gotta that, know. Gotta all know. That blue. Don't know. Oh, you're that's, really going oh, hard on that. Oh, so oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Peach, I, I went to the island. Mm -hmm. I, I, I milked the thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And we just emulsified that. Okay, well, Beach took a lot of it, so that means I don't have to take this much. <laughs> oh. Here, Ben, pass it down. We'll have it at the same time. Okay. All right, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Chink. <laughs> it has no flavor. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go for a double dip to make sure. I it literally had no flavor. <laughs> it tasted like nothing. You know you eat with your eyes before you eat with anything else? Mm -hmm. And if you change the color of something, this was in a science book I had when I was a child. If you change the color of food to blue, it's like 78% more unappealing. This is mayonnaise. It's just food mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew it was just food coloring. Oh, okay. I was so wow. scared of that. But that's so gross. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, I was. I was like toothpaste or like cake mix. All right. Well, since we're having to eat all of these, then I'm just gonna go for whatever this bullshit is. This with one the is sprinkle. my finest hour. Look, uh, I'm so proud camera. of this. this. This one is messed up. Mm -hmm. It's got sprinkles. Uh. <laughs> And it's real thick. Look at the consistency. I don't want to smell it. Yeah, it's the consistency is no bueno. Oh, that's that's oh god. Why does it? Oh, <laughs> oh. It doesn't want to come. <coughs> oh I, no. I had to taste test this one myself. I was yeah. so proud of it. And you were quite pleased with it. I was extremely pleased with it. Oh, stop oh. taking so much. I'm having a fight. Damn. <laughs> wow. I want one. 
It's like a firm, wow. I need a firm fry to convey this to my receptacle. Huh. My mouth is having a disagreement with itself. Now it's a shame that Adam left so early after his stream. It's like I'm eating potato cupcakes. It's like a it's like cake. It's birthday cake. Yeah. yeah. People love birthday cake flavored shit. <laughs> Ice cream, cake. Why I'm not so, I'm so mad. I don't hate this. <laughs> <laughs> right? It was surprisingly good. It was like this is. It's like okay. I mean, like at first you're like, well, you know, it's cake mix. Like and and on a fry that's fine. But then you remember that its base is mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we added the uh, the sprinkles at the last moment to make sure that they maintain structural integrity. And didn't melt into the mayonnaise yeah. too much. It's but, fair. You know. Oh, good. Beach, yeah. Ben, whoever's next, pick one. All right. Oh, we're getting into buddy. the more okay. esoteric flavors now. <laughs> really? Did we just roll all the... You rolled all, all, the, all the best ones, I think. <laughs> Now it's time for international fair. <laughs> okay, you know what? I want to do this one that kind of looks like spinach dip. What number is that? This is number six. Perfect. Oh, six! I'm very mm. proud it of six. It looks like you might have to zoom it in looks big like time slaw. for this one to really see, but it looks like coleslaw. Six was a really interesting yeah. how it turned out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think the bouquet of six is spectacular. Yes. All right. I don't want to smell it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to know. Oh, it's got a piney scent. <laughs> Excuse me? Which is interesting. Piney? <laughs> nope, that was too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating it. Ah! What I'm loving here is that I am. Ah, it's like six in your throat. I'm eating a tree. <laughs> yeah, this one's the worst one so far. What? So, it's wow. lavender. G gentlemen, are you. Is it yes. lavender? Yeah. Uh, well done. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't no. get to make my Scarbo fair <laughs> yeah, this, this is just Ooh. straight up pieces of Ooh, lavender. Damn. Do you want some palette cleanser? No. <laughs> it's blue. Were we correct? Was that just it, lavender? Yeah, just yeah. lavender. Oh. You know you can just buy lavender at Bulk Barn? <laughs> <laughs> They'll just let you. Oh, yeah. I took my teeth. <laughs> did, did, we get, did we get that bu bucket? We've got two. Yeah, we got one. We got yes, one on either yes, side. I don't. <laughs> I hear there's birthday cake. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Adam, we made some birthday cake flavored aioli. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a birthday cake mix and sprinkles in a mayonnaise base. Yeah, get it in oh, there. Oh, we got a camera angle for it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible, actually. <laughs> it's, just, it's just birthday cake with mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to you, G. Where God, beads didn't pick. Yeah, right. the, the, af the aftermath is miserable. Oh, look, that looks like baby <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why did you <laughs> grab it? <laughs> just diving right in. You got number two? Uh, I have number two. Oh, I you still have bits of lavender in my teeth. Straight up meconium right here. This is this is probably. Good Why did you have to say actually? meconium? <laughs> <laughs> you probably thought I didn't know that word. <laughs> Doing your research, I guess. Mm -hmm. mm, this one's the healthiest option. That doesn't sound. Like Damn. No. Mm. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No. This yeah. tracks. This yeah. tracks. Mm. Yeah. This tracks for Beach. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, Beach likes weird things. So I don't really. Mm. Yeah, this one's this one's a creative choice. Yeah. This was one of mine. I'm, <laughs> I'm very proud of this. Did now what caused you to pick it? Was the color, the com the well, the texture? The base I I wanted to get a concept going for a type of ale. Hold on, I think I And this was this there are many options, but this one I think was the best one. Yeah, why does aioli have to be unhealthy? Why could you not get some benefits out of eating your aioli? What if you're you're coming out of well you take your guess? Is this matcha? No. Oh, okay. Like what if you're coming out of a good workout and you just want to make your gains? But you gotta have oh, some, ch no. some chips and some aioli too. Did so you just juice us? Hemp protein. Yeah! Wow. wow. It's good. All right, I let's like go it. hit the I gym, I boys. Eh. I'm medium on it. Okay, Ben. No, it's not. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Graham, we've got two orange <laughs> ones. We've got this one that turned These out very thin. These look almost exactly the same. That one's thin, which is worrying. This one is. This one looks like Peppy Biz Milk. Yep. So I guess we'll do that. What's your number there? I don't think yeah, so. Seven. This, is the, this is the pink one for the camera. You should save that one till last. P pink bismuth is not food. No, no, it's nothing that we had to buy at the drugstore. Oh, it's not, on it. It's it not really machine. does have a sheen. I'm quite delighted to see what this it one looks like. Tastes nail varnish. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Children my, will love my, this. My dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. Don't smell it. <laughs> Just, just, is that because it's going to give it away? Uh, maybe. 
Go in blind. Ha ha. Ha. Snow. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I hate it. Wow. No, no. It's it's like strawberry. Wow. Is that fruit punch? Yes. yes. <laughs> I need fries. Uh, oh, watch the dial. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. No. What? Oh wow, that's good. I don't agree. I can't believe how much it overwhelms the mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. Well, which one do you want to try next? Oh, none of them no, anymore. No, hey, one of those two identical looking ones is a flavor that you really enjoy, Ben. <laughs> oh, really? Still enjoy and what's it? 50 50. What's the other one? Um, Something I'll hate? Satan. <laughs> Devil's <laughs> film. I'm going to try this one. Which one is that one? This is number four. Okay. Okay. All right, well. <laughs> Show it off again. So two of them look like that. They look almost exactly the same. Yeah. Sort of a dark chipotle Chucky, kinda... Ch Chucky Chipotle. Yeah. It's the name of my startup. Definitely get that in your head so that no matter what it is, it's disappointing. Definitely be expecting this. This might have been better <laughs> if we had hot fries. <laughs> <laughs> These lukewarm, like, <laughs> yeah. which we tried. Hell yeah! This is the bomb! <laughs> Give me more of that! You chose wisely! Yes! It's gonna be like, like cayenne or something that I can't handle. Ooh. No, I bet Ben's gonna know. Let, let You can guess as soon as Beige has tried Hang some. On, I'm gonna get a real good. Yeah. I appreciate your commitment to this. Ooh. Give me, like, another, give me another bit. It's like, like, uh, <laughs> I've, 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 it's like hickory sticks. To be honest, I've never seen you stop at one, Ben, so. You know what it is? I know what it is. I swear I know what this is. I know what it is. All right, well, let Ben keep eating until he figures it out. What do you What do you think? Oh, it's like smoky chips. Is this Red Robin's fry like shake? This Shin? is seasoning salt. Seasoning salt. It's yeah. It's Caesar rim. Like oh, it's Caesar rim. oh. It's a, it's that's why Caesar I enjoy rim. it. Yeah. For chat's reference, I drink a lot of Caesar. Yeah, I saw that <laughs> and I was like, Caesar. let's get this for Ben. I right, appreciate yeah. that. All right, <laughs> Mr. Brown. No. Which one's that one? Mr. Brown Number is one? out of town. Num oh, no, this one's one. hard to see, everybody. But I it hope it's, it's chocolate. It's the color of ichor. I'm Although, do right. I hope it? Do I want chocolate mayonnaise? BJ, I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to serve you a brown with a number. <laughs> brown twenty-three. Oh, there's a lot of chat, by the way, that probably is not Canadian. Doesn't know what a Caesar is. It's like it's a, a Bloody, Mary. Bloody Mary. It's a Bloody Mary, but with clam juice and in it. Bacon. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's get on down to Brown Town. Oh, oh that's so much. That one. One. That's so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when Beach doesn't like it. Oh. No. Oh. It's not that he doesn't like it, it's that he's you disappointed want the bucket? by it. It's just, no, I don't. I ate the whole thing. I'm just like, no, that didn't come across the way I wanted. I think I know what <laughs> it is, but I'm just kind of like, no. Oh, I forgot right. there's mayonnaise. <laughs> Do you think this is how they make Nutella? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm gonna just take a little bitty fry. I don't want a lot of this one. Oh, load up, it's good. Okay, I need a bigger fry though. What the fuck is that? I think the mayonnaise ruins it. Like, what the fuck is that? Can I guess? Ben, what is that? That's number one, right? What is that? That's Nutella. No! no. Hot cocoa mix. No? It's just... Chocolate. It's just a nice, Powder. rich, powdered chocolate. Yeah. But I didn't want it to be unsweet, so I added some Splenda. Ah. ah. <laughs> I, so it's powdered chocolate. Yeah. It doesn't taste anything like chocolate. But not no. cocoa. It's yeah. just chocolate. Because there's mayonnaise in it. My yeah. <laughs> My palate is I so know. picked up. I should have brought some water. All right, so we've got nine. There's another chocolatey one. There's well, the, that's you don't know that's there's the well, bad one. There's that the bad one that whatever like. you don't like. <laughs> and, then, nine, and then this one, which is very thin. Eight. And nine, oh yeah. eight, and eleven. 11. I know what these are. Good for you. If I may make a, a suggestion, yeah. I'd say eleven. I would. I would say go eleven, then nine, then. Are you are you being giving us our like a shitty one? Shit, shit aioli sommelier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, start, definitely start with eleven. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're listening to him. I. I would actually end on nine. <laughs> I think nine's going to be the most yes, flavor bang for thinking, your buck. Yeah. The best flavor bang. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the other room, that was good. Why do we have that shot? <laughs> Wait, we can we go back to see them? <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody there. 
Ah. Oh. oh, wait. Did you win? I think I know what that is. Mm -hmm. mm. I have fear, actually, because... Well, I don't know that Ben's going to hate this. Yeah? Try it. This one I wouldn't be I wouldn't uh, be surprised to actually see in a restaurant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't hate it. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I don't hate it. You want to try it? I'm sure. gonna have to. It's part of the game. Yeah. This is a game. <laughs> This is a this game is where they're thing you're doing for fun. Yes, we're yeah. clear oh, winners. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, clear is, winners. this is for our job. <laughs> All right, you always put the flavor on your tongue first. Yeah, let me give it another go. Oh, I didn't make a tomato flavored one. Oh, like it's peppery. Oh, hey, I know what that is. Oh, what do you? What's your guess? That is um, Old Bay. It is. Yeah. What is Old Bay? It's celery salt in it. That's what you're tasting. Oh. oh. It's a seasoning mix. Old Bay is a, a New England seasoning. It's the crab mix. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's the crab seasoning. Mm. Yeah. Well, seafood of all kinds. Well, <laughs> tell somebody from Baltimore. Those are very similar. We got a jar of that in the in the Baltimore box. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what, that's that's what, what this is. is. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> all, right. all right. Who's next? I think it was Ben. Ben. All right. Ben, I'd start with number eight. They yes. recommend you try the thin one. <laughs> it's runny. Yeah. Oh, it's like all liquidy. <laughs> you, you may want to stir the liquid off the bottom. I mean, the, the fruit. Uh, members of chat who are from Maryland are very upset that you said New England. <laughs> we'll, see. We, we'll see. We'll see you in I Maryland. Can't, I can't this one his too ass. Much, yeah, we'll be in Maryland next week. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it, it's that runny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Aioli, it's that, that runny. runny. <laughs> I'm. I'm hoping this is like. I don't know, like, um, like, like rubbing alcohol or something. Like, well, it's really Ben's thin. not into it. It's really thin. <laughs> Syrup of Ipecac. Technically <laughs> edible. I mean, this is in season. <laughs> yeah. Oh that's no. The, that's the worst one. Oh no! Now I know what it is. Now I know what it is. Really? Oh wait, maybe not. Why is there? Where's the pulp in what it? What are the bits in here? Christ. That's like I hope you just sprayed the pumpkin spice air freshener in here. That's all it is. <laughs> well, that's the one we forgot was the pumpkin spice. Huh. Oh. That's <laughs> uh mandarin orange? It is. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh god. Mm. Yeah. Deej, you're an animal. <laughs> What's wrong with you? We're all animals, Kathleen. All Some right. of us are gonna survive longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. I'm pl very, very delighted by this one. I, this one has an up front and a back to the to the palate. Like it, like it's one starts as one thing and turns into another. When I taste it, because I tasted several of these. Yes. I then hate my this. stomach got upset, so I had to stop. That's fair. <laughs> no, that's fair. This one you're supposed to mix with dairy, but I mean that's what Ailey is, so it is. <laughs> Mayonnaise is not dairy. dairy. Egg, egg and oil. Eggs and milk. That's that's dairy. You don't put milk in mayonnaise, do you? Dairy section. <laughs> it just like it gained, space. it gained dairy status by like osmosis by being near other things. It's white and looks kind of creamy. I guess it's dairy. Hmm. Okay. Why do you look so suspicious? Well, because I had no scent and then I had a, a faint scent. It's very brown. We just have to eat this, and then the show is over. <laughs> you can do this, Ben. I don't like it would be. I need a little more. No! Sorry. I Don't apologize to me. Less go, for, go ahead. Less go ahead. for us. I can't tell. This it's, is something you love, Graham. This is, in fact, a local product. For wood coffee. <laughs> yeah, is it coffee? No, no I don't think so. It's not coffee at all. It's not strong enough. The hell is that? I hate this. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. No, it's not pleasant, but... No, it's not pleasant. Is it weed, I... Kappa? <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting notes I, of... I can't, I can't guess it. I can't go back vanilla? in for another dip. Some sugar? 
maybe some, some some essential oils. There's a bit of like there's a little bit of sweetness, but no, the mayonnaise is kind of like That's really sweet. That's the problem. It's oh. barely sweet. Is this tea? This is. Is this Earl Grey? This is Jagus Jagus Silk's Earl Grey tea, London Fog London Mix. London Fog Mix. <laughs> a London Fog aioli. What's there not to like? <laughs> Pretty much. Everything you just said. Yeah. yeah. Those Thanks. words I in that order. I get a London fog every day from the parsonage. Not anymore. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a morning drink anymore. <laughs> it's over. Such a waste. Do you want some of the Chaser Caesar? T- oh, actually, the Caesar one was pretty good. Yeah, here. Yeah, give Wait, me that. Excuse here, me. Here, or how about just some plain mayonnaise? I just want to drink now, to be honest. <laughs> how the hell is that local? Well, for one thing, Jagus Silk is a local company, and also London Fogs were created in Victoria mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. by a barista at Serious Coffee, according to the CBC article on nice. London Fogs when they gained massive popularity. Oh well, yeah, people who don't know what a London Fog is, maybe we should in, uh, fill them in. Starbucks used to call them a um, vanilla, an Earl Grey vanilla tea misto because they couldn't trademark the name London Fog, <coughs> but it's basically it's. Um, it's a uh, Earl Grey tea bag uh, with steamed milk and vanilla flavor. Yeah, and it's yeah. delicious. Yeah. Really, really good. And Although a lot of them have put it in powder for it. You sweeten it a little bit. Get it. And yeah. now it's an aioli. Yeah. It's pleasant as hell, and you should try one. I, we should brand some of these. I don't agree. What? The mm, London the, Fog? The, no, the, this was pleasant. I mean, the London Fog is oh, pleasant Oh, the London as hell. Fog is delightful. This was The London awful. Fog is great. Okay, I, so which one was the worst one? I like that you all seem to have different answers for these. Which one was your Which one was your bottom? The last one. The really, one. London Fog? Yeah, it did because it did nothing. That was better than lavender, or that was worse. Oh, wait, no, lavender, 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 was lavender. Lavender was no good. I forgot about lavender. No, lavender, lavender I can deal with. It, yeah, it's it's. I don't. I, don't I couldn't. Like, I don't like my sweet and savory. The lavender mixed. I didn't like because it was it got bits of lavender in my teeth, and then occasionally, like three minutes later, it'd be like pop, poof. Yeah. You know what I'm surprised about? What? You didn't bring bitters in. No, no, didn't, didn't need to. If you had brought in bitters, that'd have been amazing. I think the worst one for me was the pink one. Fruit punch. That was the first one I spit on. Not yeah. birthday cake. Birthday cake, I could eat. Like it was. You were okay. prepped for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was not as bad. Mandarin orange was pretty bad. Yeah. Mandarin, yeah. Mandarin orange and the pink one were the Mandarin one says you're around. Wow, that's really thick. This time. <laughs> wow, that is thick. It's starting to turn into actual cake. If you uh. had to pick, oh my! If you had to pick a favorite, blabo goo. <laughs> That's uh like favorite as a favorite as a fry topping? Yeah. Why is the birthday cake mix the that one's really glutinous? Yeah, it's because I put cake mix into it. Like, Macaroni and cheese powder. It will hold okay. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese powder was good. It was really good. good. Where, where'd it go? Uh that oh, over here. Yeah. I would eat that probably like as if, if it was like, hey, we have this thing we serve with your fries, it'd be like, hell yeah, why not? I wouldn't get it like I wouldn't like, ask for it, but This yeah. is like the worst queso. It's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're out of queso. What do we do? Well, actually, if you ever I got this craft inner cheese mix, if and I've got so much mayo. Stunt queso. That's not a bad way to do all it. All this old mayonnaise. <laughs> FYI, there's a bit of cornstarch in the cake box cake mix. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, what a lovely H- meal. HD Dabnado with an awful suggestion. Combine the mixes. Nope. Yeah, I mean, okay. if no you, more you know what, I'll do what, one. What two should I combine? Uh, the celery one and the Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old, old bay and the Caesar, Caesar mix? That's yeah. gonna be salty. That just sounds yeah. Yeah. All right. Here, you want a fry of each and then eat them together? Oh, good. That way we don't cross contaminate. Right, yeah. right. You can make fresh mixtures. Oh, I'll call it birthday cake. Smart, Kenley man. needs to get meaner. Lol. I put together a lavender one. <laughs> you 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 ground up that lavender too with your hands beforehand to make it well, extra I said. pungent. How's that, buddy? It's so salty. Yeah. I want to get it on. That. I love that people. Somebody was like, oh, juniper. You know, like any of those yeah. kind of yeah. Why is it? It's so salty. Anyway, that's super. This, Peach. Yes. You should try mixing. Uh huh. Mandarin orange and the Her- strawberry one. Oh yeah, all fruit. Here, let's just pour them together. No, it's okay. uh, yeah. There you go. No, I'll pour this one into the other one. <laughs> Got to be sure to be able to get to the both. Just stir it up. All right. Probably got to the bottom. Yeah. Blue is probably the least offensive. Yeah, because it's just mayonnaise. Yeah. It has just become. Yep, it's just become a thin, sugary, citrusy. I hate mayonnaise. Yeah, 
I have to say the. Remember, remember the we're, good job, guys. Remember, remember when we, we were at the, at the when we were like putting this show together, uh -huh. and we we're like, man, we haven't done a food thing in a while. Yep. I remember why now. <laughs> that was not. It was not as bad as the worst yeah. we've ever done. Citric no. acid on point. I I liked yeah. this one more than the the snow cone one. <laughs> the snow cone one got me. Yeah. <laughs> But the Thanksgiving one was great. Do we wrap this up? Are we done with the show? That's it. That's yeah. the show. That's our. That's our, that's everything we had planned. So let's thank. Let's welcome our son. Yeah. So Sleep come on in, everybody. Come on in, friends. friends. Yeah. You want to try some of this aioli? Thank you, so everybody, aioli? for nope. watching the show. <laughs> it is. Look at how uh, thick the birthday cake that's one is. Nauseating. As you can see on the screen, it was written and performed it looks like by clown jizz. Loading Ready Run. And if you liked <laughs> what you saw today, please uh, follow us, or you can uh, subscribe, like these awesome people did. Kathleen. Stog Life Forty Five is a new subscriber. Thank you for joining us. Ramiel One One Seven for seven months. Thank you. Variable vacancy for 12 months. The one year! It's Reptile for seven months. Same clever comment here. <clears throat> Jericho Plays is back on the 15th month. I'm typing live, so something's going. Dang it. <laughs> oh, great Wahoonie, a new sub thanks to a gift from Ferret Badger. Thank you. Welcome. A Mivare for two months. Second month, first loading ready live, and it's a short. Hi, for heaven's sake. My there. My there. No, Andy, mi there. We got there. Das Cleus for 15 months says 15 months sub hype. Ringo the monkey. New subscriber. Thank <laughs> hey, you. Where's Dan? We're going to get Dan in here. Mo Farrow sign for Daticus Rex for 23 months. Felt sick for 15 months saying day 63 of getting into the sea. I passed into the eastern Washington. I now realize I should have brought a plane ticket to the Caribbean instead of walking. Mm, yeah. Good, yeah. Good plan. <clears throat> Kid Zoo. Is uh, having a sub baby back in the ninth month. <laughs> You're up. Angry Optimus with 12 month resub. The one year, a year at last. It's been a tough year for a lot of us. Like a lot of other people, I found LRR oddly stabilizing. I like what you do and I think you're good people. I like to see you succeed. On to 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Angry Optimist. Yeah. HD Dabnado. Dabs. Thanks, Fair Badger, for the gift there. Ribble at us for seven months. I pressed the button and things happened. Lele for 15 months. Sir Garrett Cameron for 15 months saying, I would like to keep pressing this button for another year. Dan. <laughs> hey, Dan. Mount Storm for 27 months. Hi, Graham. How are you? I'm well. Uh, Hodge Gulashi is a new subscriber. Welcome, Hodge. Glad to have you here. Io Otter with a 26 month resub. Huzzah for the last live of the year. Let's throw the dumpster fire that was 2017 into the sea and make 2018 better. We'll insert Dan into the rotation now. Thank you, Io Otter. Uh, Sir Buffalo Esquire. Biffalo. Sir Biffalo Esquire. My, my apologies, Mr. Esquire. Just 35 is a new subscriber gifted by Hijigulash. Elspeth Terrell for 15 months. Hijigulash. AC Extravaganza for five months. Join us in the LR Discord for the fan draft played in Tabletop Simulator wow. after the show. Tonight, we draft Triple Ferros. Neat. I'm tickling to spud for 37 months. <laughs> Don't tickle to spud. And now you'll have the woogly for 15 months. Probably be asleep by the time this is read out. Say hello from the VOD. Hello, the woogly. Hi, VOD. Son of Thoth has honor. With a 21 month resub. Good riddance to this year. JS1813 for 10 months. Wow. Welcome Woo. back. Doc Samurai for 18 months. His second sub, baby. I think I'll name it New Year's Steve. Yeah, you hey. should. That's a big name. Honda 020946 is a new subscriber. Zox Zodin for nine months. Hello. Zox Mad Aaron 87 for 12 months. Saying my first sub to be alive one year ago. It's only fitting that my first year should follow Paul's beard into the void. At least you'll never have to try and say Anna Aaron Narcus again. Zox! <laughs> Green Turtle 69 is back on the air. Yes, it's been a year. It's so excited. And Zox Mercado 82 <laughs> with a 48 month resub. Four years. My sub expired as the show started. I'm going to guess James will read this sub. Wrong. Zox <laughs> Trivia 26 is the smallest number that is not a palindrome. You have a square that is a palindrome. 26 inches. Last time you told us something, everyone said it was wrong. Zox Banrio <laughs> for 15 months. Happy New Year to all. Thank you to all the Zox fun streams this year. Looking Zox forward to the next Zox year. Zox Robot 662. <laughs> 
for seven months. So excited for loading ready live. Brilliant. L's Spectre <laughs> for 14 months, once more around the glowing Zox Ball. <laughs> and it's L McArg for 15 months saying Happy New Year from Scotland. Happy New Year. L Metric Furlong is a new subscriber! Have a good Hogman egg. Gifted by Real <laughs> Cow. Lazarus18 with a 15 month resub. Cool music technology! Dougal Hallow, new subscriber! Wow! 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 wow. 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 Valverfram! Thank you! Xantos! Expecting to hide for nine months. Don't say something, baby. I'm not ready to be a parent. Abort, abort, abort. Whoa! Zeusical for 12 months. Happy new LRR. It's my subscriversity. Good luck to whoever has to say subscriversity. Ink blink! For 13 months. I'm positive that's back. not how you spell that. Yeah. Virgil82 is a new subscriber. Pronounce Welcome that. to the channel, Virg. Rayon, stand by. A new sub gifted from I Am Orthos. Thank you both and welcome. Mystic Op 9, someone stole my toilet and the police have nothing to go on. On a serious note, without LRR, my life would be crappy. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Orthos. <laughs> For 10 months. J Daug66 is a new subscriber. Team Goat Token is a brand new subscriber. Hey, more. Is a brand new subscriber as well. And Itazu for 52 months. Oh my. Blade. Tiger, 40 month resub. Welcome back. And in this corner, Area94, <laughs> a new subscriber. Gothic monkey in the blue trunks, 20 months. <laughs> Green Brains is a new subscriber. Off the top rope, it's <laughs> 1030 for 10 months. How do we fish? But Philip Modesto for 17 months has been sucking somebody inside of the ring, ending for 2017 with a 17 month bang bang. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Danny McGee for 25 months. I thought it was wrestling slang. Happy New Year to everyone at Lur. Happy to share 25 months of something with you all. I promise you it's not wrestling slang. Dracus to the seven month resub. <laughs> Woo, sub, time, babies. Uh, Woo. Goblin Ranger for nine months. Three quarters of the year went by so fast. Thank you for all you do. It's amazing. Thank you, Goblin Ranger. Oh my gosh, it's Biggest Bart <laughs> EU with an elbow drop from the top rope, rope saying the oldest recorded joke roughly translates to something which has never occurred since time immemorial. A young woman did not fart in her husband's lap. <laughs> biggest Fart EU, not quite as large as Biggest Fart NA. Mm. Bulls whack for 15 months. And the Koreans always win the championship. Geeky crafty kill for three months. Hi, Kelly. Coriander! What? <laughs> just get to the sub. And Ben well, was trying I'm to reference here. the time Kane pulled somebody under the ring. Ben Rear GG for 15 months, but then big hearts. What? Ah. It's you! I subscribed. <laughs> Welcome me. <laughs> for 15 months. Oh, wait, I haven't moved this button for a while. Happy holidays and happy new year to our tall the lore folk. Flail squared for 13 months says Happy New Year LRR. Technic AL for six months. Half a year, that's almost a sub birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Procasual <laughs> for 62 months. No! Wait, no. <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato for six months. Jay Andy is a new subscriber gifted by Rock Pusher as well. Wow, oh, Rock Jay. Pusher. Source yeah. Quench. A new sub. Welcome to the channel. It's, it's great. Bye. Name. Higher Hazard Cat. <laughs> New subscriber, you're welcome. Brazoth for 17 months says schlocky B movie or porn movie aren't those basically the same thing? No. <laughs> They're not. He's a guy. Too much, that sounds like yes. teenage disappointment. Sector 88 is a new subscriber gifted by Rock Pusher. That's Thank you, nice. Rock Pusher. Yeah. The Kraus House for <laughs> eight months. Welcome back. It's me! <laughs> <laughs> Get shit on! <laughs> And Suke Ren with a six month resub entering the second trimester of this sub baby. What better time to check in than the live show? Sell Gexicon for three months. Welcome to the channel. Forever backwards for 11 months. 11 is a palindrome. <laughs> Rendar Moreno for 22 months. 22 is a palindrome. <laughs> Rendar Vice is good as 11. It's a palindrome. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha, for 19 months saying thank you for making this year easier and funnier to get through. It's a palette. <laughs> <laughs> Nolly 3 for five glorious months. Wow, I thought I didn't like Owly before. It's <laughs> nice enough when you get to know her. Shadmed with a 15 month resub. Oh crap, forgot live. 
Guess I have a VOD to see. Forgot Liv. Bad Neat, a new subscriber. <laughs> Subscribing is a palindrome. Help, Forgot Liv. <laughs> Garfington 24 is not a palindrome. Oh, shit. <laughs> 26 months. Yay, LRL. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Sir. Octopus for 14 months. Happy New Year, LRR chat. Here's to another year of great LRR content. Yeah. Princess Ishtar the Red for 20 months saying, glad to see you guys one more time before the new year. Take good care of yourselves. Lur heart. Me heart. Uh, Jaime Les Mats for 15 months. <laughs> Happy New Year. Old Bay Ioli is definitely a thing in Baltimore. Sound? Yeah, yeah look at that. Way. I'm not surprised. S Doug Life 45? Well. A new sub? Didn't that Baron start Ron. with that? Yeah. Hopping off for 13 months. <laughs> Wasn't Doug Life the first name. one? Yeah, yeah. Aerodite Cynic for two months says joining the sub train. Dude, dude. Annie Laurel is a new subscriber gifted by Sarah Sergey. Hey. Kale Womingford is a 12 month subscriber. Thanks. You were You're born welcome. to say that. Hi, to Dot. is a brand new subscriber on her channel. Bloblefish <laughs> is a new subscriber gifted by Fishor. You were born to say that. <laughs> Medi Seagoon, a new sub gifted by Argentaria? Yeah. Kent the Thai. 50, 52 months is a lot of months, thank you. Chiming Fish, oh thank you, oh glorious shit, Aeoli Somalia. You're welcome, <laughs> Chiming Fish. Lucha Libro for six months. Thank you for yet another great year of entertainment. Do a Lucha thing. Pseudonym Ken for 20 months, thanks for being awesome. Lysander Gustav, a brand new subscriber gifted by Sarah. And DNI, uh, yeah, Dianicus24. Uh, for 27 months, triplets! Thanks for a great year. The other Trevor, for 15 months, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, 1, 2018! And you the true! Welcome, gifted by Fishor. Thank you, Fishor. Evil Batman is a new subscriber gifted by Peach? Fishor. Sir Jack DB, another new subscriber. Gifted by Sarah. Calls me Cowl, a new subscriber gifted by Argentaria. Rising tithes. A new subscriber gifted by Fisher. Skyboss1996, another new subscriber oh, gifted man, by Fisher. Oh man, off in there. Todd on a tangent, the five month resub. Dracul X is a new subscriber. Welcome to the channel, Dracul X. Contrarian King for 13 months. He's not the king. <laughs> Count Nodanara for 20 months. Woo, 20 months already. Thanks for the lulls. Thanks for watching. Meowds is a new subscriber uh. who has been gifted by Fisher. A catastrophic success. <laughs> Two months gifted by Fisher. And Symphonic Lolita is a new subscriber gifted by Sarah Serenday. And thanks for whoa, 10,641 bits from <gasps> Rock Pusher, Pinnacle, Chaos, The Figment, Real Gamer, Cow, The Maricat, Anti Muffin, True Hippie, Fish or SA Jewers, Ashby Four Set More Nine Seven, Malbeam, Nimrod, uh, Every Time, Fourteen, Eremore, Serafina, The Surface of the Moon, Saltytron, Playmaster Five Hundred, Fenrig, H Bomb and Friends, Contingent Cat, Fragile Paper, Psychic Ketchup, <laughs> Dracus One Eight Three W Nevik, <laughs> Ringo the Monkey, Wow, Discordian Talk Hand, and Toshar. That's new interface, Paul. Good job. I've never seen it scroll before. A dag. Hi, yo. Oh. And thank you to everybody for all your generosity granting each other subs. That's mm -hmm. quite amazing. I really hurt my ear by resting I'm my. Sorry, head my, my head. skull is hard. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. this is the last thing we'll, we'll ever do ever, ever again. Yeah. 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 And after this, we no. put Ben into the wood chipper because we've used up all his youthful energy. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he won't be able to come with us to the yeah, moon bitch. I knew there were drugs in this aioli. <laughs> uh, it goes the day. Don't uh, worry, Loading Ready Live will return in 2018. Who knows when? At the same time as the, uh, the uh, Hopefully International Crime Syndicate? Good. I guess. Thank, thank, thank you all so much. Uh, and uh, thank you. There, I think there might be one person. Uh, what is it? Uh, May is bored. Slid in, just missed the subtrain. Thank you very much for subscribing. Tactical roll out of engineering. My 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 face is a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> but smooth. Here's this. Okay, if you guys are gonna let me be New Year's Steve, you at least have to cooperate. Not really in the New Year's Steve spirit. You have to take them, James. I don't have room to store them. Well, how am I supposed to resist touching my bells if I have to look at them all year long? When it was my turn, I had jugs of liquid soap that I couldn't rub on lampposts or bike racks. 
I had to cancel my Amazon subscription just so I wasn't drowning in this stuff. I did just fine. I think it'll be great. Well, I think it's mighty fucking suspicious that I've never seen you be New Year's Steve Graham. I'm gonna go see if Beej is done shitting on our cars. Happy New Year. Thank you.